So there's this Cherokee elder who wanted to convey a message about life to his grandchildren. So one night he drew them all around the campfire and said solemnly, there's a fight going on inside of me. It's a terrible fight. The fight is between two wolves. One wolf represents fear and anger and jealousy and resentment. And the other wolf represents love and peace and serenity and harmony. And this fight isn't just going on inside of me, it's going on inside of each and every one of you and every person in the world too. And the kid sat there, wide-eyed, not knowing what to say, but one kid had the courage and he stepped up and he said, but Grandpa, which wolf will win? And the Grandpa looked him square in his eyes and said, the one I feed. The one I feed. So the question then is which wolf are you feeding? Because the answer to that determines the quality of your life. And there is nothing more important in this world than how you feel. Thought is creative. Thoughts become things. And the universe absolutely does not care one way or the other how your life is. It would prefer if you were in alignment. But based on laws like gravity, belief, expectancy, cause and effect, all of the above, based on those laws, the universe just says yes. So thought is like a fisherman throwing out bait. The thought comes up. If you grab it, then you become it. Then it grows because what we focus on expands. What we appreciate appreciates, whether that is good or bad, no matter what. Whatever you focus on, you give life to. So if you're focusing on things like anger and resentment and, and all of those things, then you get more of that in your life, period. That's how it works. What I am not saying is to bypass your humanness. The thing is, is if you're mad, be mad. If you're sad, be sad. If you're grieving, grieve. But give yourself a schedule and ask yourself this. Who's doing the speaking? What is doing the speaking? Is it really me or is it a small s of the self? If it's a small s, then it, it could possibly be, and this is the thing that a lot of us don't really understand and I'm still grasping it myself. There are race conscious thoughts that just flow through the ethers. And a lot of us see those thoughts and we take them and we say, oh, that's mine. You don't need to claim that stuff that comes through. One of the solutions is, is you notice it and then you redirect the thoughts. You notice and you redirect. You notice and you redirect. You put on your Steven Spielberg hat and you redirect it to something that is working in your life. That's the key. Another thing you can do at those moments when I get really crazy and get in the, the cloud of, oh, my life is terrible and I'm drowning in my own sorrows, I get up and I dance, right? Because when you dance, you know what I'm saying? When you dance, when you dance, just as is happening now, you change your physiology. And when you change your physiology, you change what's happening in the body and, and the body responds and then all of a sudden the mind responds and, and the, what's not there, what's not there is that thought that wasn't serving you. You see, the real us, the capital S, that self, is ageless, deathless, changeless being made in the image and likeness of God. That is spirit. It can never divide itself. It is omnipresent. It is everywhere at all times. That is you. That is me. Divine snowflakes that will never be repeated. Ever, ever, ever. What I came to do and be will never happen again. Ever. When we step into that and own that stuff, right? And we're moving and shaking and we're dancing and we're in the groove of our life. Then we get in that zone. That space where there's no thought, where it's just um, creation. You're co-creating instead of being in reaction to. This life is a choice, not chance. It's choice, not chance in this beautiful dance. It's choice, not chance in this beautiful dance. Oh my God. Oh, our God. This is so good. So good. The question I have for all of us is today, 
not tomorrow, not next week, not next month. As you're watching this video today, what are you committed to? Because whatever that is, you will have in your life. If you are committed to feeding the wolf of love and alignment and peace and serenity, then you will have that today, period. I challenge you to do that. I challenge you to commit yourself just for today. That's it, just today. Blessings and blessings. This is Questions with Preston. I absolutely love and appreciate every one of you. This is what they would call a small channel that's doing its thing. You know why it's doing its thing? Because it's family. I'm not speaking from above. Everything you're dealing with, I'm dealing with. All I am is a messenger. So thank you for seeing me. I get your messages. Some of the messages I get make me cry. Thank you. Because I know it's not about me. It's about us. Hashtag we first is going down in a beautiful major way. Let's go.